Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Nerd Vault, where we review and talk about all the nerdy props out there. Today, we're doing a Doctor Who one again. Yes, we are, because we have, after two years of waiting, well, almost two years of waiting, the 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver by Roberto Replicas. Yes, there it is right there in its box. So, yeah, this is also my first video of 2022. I'm sorry I didn't want to, I didn't do one sooner. Um, it's just, you know, I wanted this to be my first video of 2022, so I had to wait a little bit. <laughs> but we've got it now, so we're going to kickstart the new year with this. Uh, and I've got a fair few um, replicas to go. So, this year. So, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. Here's the box. It's a nice, uh, well, silver box, really, just like the fourth, uh, no, sorry, just like the tenth and the fourth Doctor Sonic. Um, not fourth, twelfth Doctor Sonic, I said that twice. Um, so, yeah, the tins are kind of normal to me now, but we have the, uh, we have Jodie's logo for the Doctor Who there. And then we've got, obviously, 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver by Roberto Replicas. Awesome. So, taking a look at the side of the tins and the whatever, there's nothing really, just a few labels on that, but nothing major. No details on the front there uh, whatsoever. You can see a nice little scratch I made earlier there. Okay, lovely. So, this is what we are introduced with when we... Uh, when we first get it. So here is the certificate of authenticity. Let me just move that up there so I can go back in the frame of it here. This is the certificate of authenticity. So we've got the Doctor Who logo in Jodie Whittaker's style. A few Gallifreyan bits <clears throat> there. Um, all inside this kind of you know hexagonal shape. We have the 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver by Robert of Replicas. I nearly forgot what I was saying there. Yeah. Uh, certificate of Authenticity number 90 of 250, of course, he's not making 250. Um, made by Nick Robato, signed by the main legend himself. And there we go. And on the back, we have a nice green sort of um, a homage of greens, a collage of greens, should I say, sorry. Uh, and a few little blues mixed in there as well to resemble the TARDIS, but very nice. You know, as far as certificates go, it's not too bad. I will do a, a certificate comparison uh, in my updated collection video that I do uh, in the next couple of days. Because, you know, the certificates are quite nice. Nick does put the effort into these certificates. And, of course, the certificates are what makes them keep their value. So, yeah. Cool certificate with boots. I've talked about that a bit too much. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got here? The legal pepper. Waste of the rainforest, if you ask me, because we don't really need it. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it just tells you all the instructions and stuff about the Sonic and how to spin it. Um, and all that kind of stuff, all that jazz. Care and maintenance, display, base. Um, stuff like that, and any repairs or whatever. Uh, however, of course, uh, if you damage it yourself, uh, Roberto will charge you for the repair costs. Um, it says there it will have to be covered by yourself. However, if it's not caused by you, then... Uh, then he will do it for free. <clears throat> so that's nice of him. Okay, and then we have a really nice Doctor Who logo there. It's not my favourite Doctor Who logo, but still, it's etched, laser etched into the foam here, so that's quite nice. Got a little window there to see the Sonic. You might be surprised when you take a look at it, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, okay, ready? One, two, and three. Ta da The beautiful, amazing 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver by. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that's the right one. No, 
It's not the right one. Ah, let me get the stand out, and um, when I put the stand on, maybe the right sonnet will come. <laughs> In a minute, guys. Okay, and we're back, guys. Uh, so I've took the stand out of the thing now. Uh, we'll just take a look at this quickly first, because this is nice. It's got the etching again, and we've got some Gallifreyan etchings there as well. But I just thought I'd show you that. That's the rest of the box. Don't, don't need the box now. Uh, this is the stand that it comes with. It's a nice stand, to be fair. It's very nice. You can see through this little bit here, but... It says the same as what's on the certificate, Doctor Who, 13th Doctor Science Screwdriver by Rupert Rebel Gears, number 90 and 250, of course, no longer 250. Signed by Nick, he does sometimes, and sometimes he doesn't sign them. I have one of my 10th Doctor ones that doesn't have a signature, so there we go. Uh, yeah, but there we are, cool stand. And, of course, we have the two uh, plaques here, which we just insert in. Easy as pie. I said it was easy while I was doing it. However, it's not. <laughs> um, easy to do on the camera, anyway. So that's why you probably can't see anything. But there we go. That's what it looks like. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. So let's have a look to see if the Sonic will appear on here any moment. Now. Voila! Here you go. The rubber... T uh, okay. I don't think this is the one either. So, let me just click my fingers and we'll try one more time. Three, two, one. Hey, it worked! <laughs> Oh my god, sorry about that. Um, so here is the 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver by Roboto Replicas, and it is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you saw the other two toys um, back there. They were toys, let me just confirm. I don't have three 13th Replicas. That's crazy. Um, but this is the official one, and it is super, super heavy. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at this awesomeness up close. Okay, here we go. Awesome. So this is the emitter lens here. The crystal has been very well done, I have to say. Um, you can't really see the purple hue on mine. Um, I'm not too fussed about that, though, because I, I just love... I think the design is super awesome and super cool. Followed by these wired bits here, the coil. Uh, if I, let me see if I can. Just. Uh, Sorry about this, guys. Just having a little focusing issue with the with the summit there. Here's the little bits, the little you know frosted bits here with the thick metal body that it has. Then we've got all this wrap around designs going on here with the sort of thumb bit there. And there as well. Then we move down to a shiny, a little shiny bit of metal there. And then we go down to the end. And the end has some crystalline bits which do sparkle a little bit in certain lights, which I think is pretty cool, to be fair. They kind of like pop out, poke out a bit, which is kind of cool. We've got the battery compartment there. So it is awesome. Some ridges there look as well. That's pretty cool. Um, one thing I've noticed is the stamp there, which I, I mean, 
I am really quite struggling to... Oh, if I get rid of this, that might work. That might be better. If I take everything out of focus... But there is the stamp there. So yeah, this is a very awesome Sonic indeed. Um, I I mean, I had my, you know, originally I had my, you know, disagreements with about this Sonic. Um, but it's only until you hold the replica that you can truly admire it. So pressing this top button here, if you want to call it the top, I don't really know if they have names. I mean, it could be any. We'll try this one first, see what happens. So when we click this button here, oh, would you look at that? We have a nice orange glow throughout the Sonic. If I press it from this side, you can see all of these nice crystals popping out, you know, like you can see them all. It's super cool. It's very bright as well. Um, I have a fair bit of light shining on this particular area and it's still doing amazing. It looks great from that angle. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of purple in in there, but you have to you have to put the emitter at a very very weird angle. It's I don't know whether the purple hue was meant to be in there or whether that was just a design flaw. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, Really nice glow, love the orange glow in there. The light is incredibly bright, bright. The LED center must be there in the middle. Okay, and then when we press this bottom one here, or the top, whichever one you wanna, you know, think about it, uh, doesn't matter really. We've got an awesome, fantastic spin. Um, I have to say, this isn't my favourite design Sonic screwdriver, by all accounts, at all. However, it is by far the funnest one. It's the funnest one because not only can you do that and that, but if you push them together, you can get a slow glow spin. And try saying that when you're drunk. Boom, look at that, a slow glow spin. So you get the, the best of both worlds. Now, I don't have, uh, I don't have an issue with there not being sound in here. That doesn't bother me. However, um, It would have been nice to get the diagnostic sound. It would have been nice to have that. But uh, yeah, so. There you go. Pretty awesome, really. Um, okay. Now. I know Quite a lot of people's uh, view on this Sonic isn't a particularly good one. And I know a lot of people don't like it. I myself, it's not my favourite design. Which I do believe I have said previously. Uh, however, it is pretty... Decent. The replica is pretty nice, and it's made me fall in love with the Sonic a little bit more. This was going to be... I did try and aim for 13 minutes because it's the 13th Doctor, but that hasn't happened, evidently, because my videos are always long. So 
I'm going to try and make it short though, because I don't want the video to be too long, you know, because it's the 13th Doctor Sonic, it's not meant to be this long. But we're going to do comparisons finally, I think this is what I've wanted to do for so, so long. Um, so let me get the things set up, and we'll get straight into the final part of the video, which is the comparisons and overall view of that. So bear with me a second, and we will continue in a sec. And here we are guys, we are back. Uh, we have all three here, so we're going to take a look at all three and compare them. Um, I don't really know which one to go with first, to be honest. Uh, I mean, yeah, I suppose we can go with that. Let's do that. Um, so, here we have the 720 and the um, 13th uh, rubber toe. Um, it was close, in some aspects, for example, okay, wrong one, <laughs> for example, the spinning emitter, so you could take that away and go, uh, sorry, <laughs> there you go, um, however, you can see, like, stuff with the emitters, uh, which is struggling to focus a little bit. With the emitters here, you can see that the 720 was way off, but you can see the purple hue in the 720, uh, which on my replica you can't see very well. But you can see the dimensions. I mean, this is massive, whereas this is tiny. So you can really see there the difference in dimensions with, you know, all of the designs. Um, and they just, the, the, the crystal bits just don't pop out as much either. Um, so that's with the 720, which looks like wood as well, by the way. Looks like wood grains, not, um, metal. This is the character options, the second edition character options. Um, so, I mean, oh look, there you go, it's glowing up there now. Let's see which one is brighter. Hmm. It is a contender. I think. Um, yeah, you can, I mean... Character options got the emitter a little bit better with the size. Uh, didn't get the purple hue. But... The dimensions aren't too bad. But I mean, the the CO toy doesn't do it doesn't do this replica justice whatsoever. Anyway, um, the frosting is too fake, and it it pops a little bit, but nowhere to the extent of of those. Um, nowhere to the extent of those. So yeah. And they didn't even print the, uh, the the sticker on either. So, you know, there you are. Uh, when doing a size comparison between the... Between them... It looks like the replica is in de dead in the middle. If you have a look there. They're all um, tail to tail. So you can see that the 720 is the smallest, followed by the replica in the middle. And then the counter options toy is massive. That is a much more natural light than this one is, you know, and then that one, there. So those are the three contenders. Which one wins? Easy. The replica itself. Yeah, so the final, sorry about that. The final comparison that we're going to do, we're going to get these toys out as far away from there is humanly possible. We're going to do some size comparisons with its predecessor. 
or predecessors, should I say, plural. So, I'm going to, the best way, I think, to probably do this is to put this on the stand, like so. Boom. And basically, do it like that. So here we have the rubber toe fourth in all of its glory. And when you look at this and look at that, you think how, my, my, how Sonics have changed. But there you go, from neck, from end cap to there, the, uh, it's actually not that much bigger than this one, actually, to be fair. It's not that much bigger than this one. Of course, this extends though, so obviously that's that's cheating a little bit though, isn't it? But it does that does extend a little bit, so it does make it a little bit bigger. But that's the earliest predecessor of the Sonic, anyway. Then we have the rubber toe tenth. Which, of course, I can't do that very loud because I've got people to sleep in the house. But, and it's mega fucking loud. Uh, sorry for the language there, but it is, it's, it bursts your eardrums, quite honestly. But if you, if we look at that, uh, the, the tenth is like the smallest Sonic anyway. Closed, it, it goes to like this bit. And then, it's hard to keep this open. It is hard to keep the Sonic open. It's still smaller, look. It is still that bit smaller. I'll try and zoom in a little bit if I can for you. Uh, for the next one. As I think that will be the best idea. If I can, try and... Hopefully... Get it. Sorry about that, guys. The uh, phone decided to end on me. Um, but I was adjusting the, the, the phone anyway. Uh, yeah, so the next one is the Celestial Toy Store 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but the 11th Doctor Sonic is massive. And then, I'm gonna have to do it on this side, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was terrible, I do apologize. That was a bit better. The flick. And, yeah, okay, that comes out of the frame. So that's absolutely massive. But I just realized I can keep these in the frame, actually. I don't know why I took them out of the frame, to be honest with you. I do not want to know why I took them out of the frame. Okay, and last but not least, for the comparisons anyway, with its predecessor, this is its direct predecessor, my favourite design, the 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, by Rubberto Replicas as well. Another awesome one that came last year. If you watched my videos last year, you'll know I had problems doing those. The two extra sounds, but it's fine now. Just getting used to it, isn't it? But, boom! It goes way out of focus. Like, if I turn... There you go. It is so much bigger. Like, literally, so much. It, it dwarfs... So, there's a few little, uh, a few little sonic shots there. Uh, I will, I will quickly do this one, but it is quite loud, so. There you go, now you can see the purple hue.
suit. No, that'll do. And I'm I'm only spinning it because to say that originally Matt Smith wanted this emitter to spin and they refused saying it was too hard to do and yet mere mo you know mere years later they've uh, they've done a spinning emitter for this one so that's what I'm saying and then with this one there's no light but I can still do the motion anyway old meets new so Oh, wrong way. My final verdict on the 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. It's not my favourite design. It's still not my favourite design. I don't think it's ever, ever going to be my favourite design. However, the replica has changed my mind dramatically about the Sonic. So I do now appreciate it as a Sonic screwdriver and I do welcome it into my collection with open arms. I am so happy I've bought it because Nick is not doing any more now. Um, so I am very happy and very humbled and very grateful that I managed to get one. Um, for those of you that didn't get one, I am so, so sorry. All I can say is... You are missing out, but but obviously it's not your fault because you couldn't get one. But what I'm saying is, yeah, it's a it's a beaut. It is, uh, you know me. I've I was disappointed when the doctor was announced as a woman, and that's not me being sexist or anything like that. So don't get commenting that. It's just you know my thoughts on it because Doctor Who is quite strong to me. And I, I think, personally, Series 11, 12 and 13 have been the weakest series of the show. That being said, that there's a few replicas in her era, Whitaker's, the Spinning Tardis, the Flux Watch, the, you know, the, um, what do you call it now, the Chameleon Arch Watch, um, and then the Sonic Screwdriver has really kind of grown on me. The Tardis interior has actually grown on me as well, watching rewatching some of the episodes. Um... I won't miss Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. I won't necessarily miss this being the main Sonic either. Uh, however, uh, it's safe to say uh, that it is actually one of my favourite Sonics, just for the fact. Slow, glow, spin. So that brings me to the end of this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. It's the second video, I believe, out there of this Sonic. So I really hope, well, by the time of this recording, it should be the second anyway. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm, I've got the custom classic to do now as well, to post. Um, which will be my second video. Then I've got something coming, hopefully Saturday, which I'll be reviewing. Then the next one's then... Well, the next video then will probably be the collection video again because I have to update it now. I've got some new ones. And then possibly the next one will be the Sonic Pen or the Colony Cream Aztec, which I'm still waiting for, which I've been waiting for since April last year. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Uh, but there's a few surprises coming this year, some that have shocked even me. So, yeah, crazy. But... Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching so much and please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already because it helps me to do, you know, keep doing the thing that I love doing which is YouTube videos and please just comment and whatever. Don't comment hate about the Sonic though, please. I don't think it deserves it, well, especially not the replica anyway. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and remember, keep Sonic in. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.